Today, I'd like to share with you the story of Suri Bali. Uh, it's a very special story to me. Uh, the year was 2004, and my wife and I were in Bali for the weekend, and we wanted to have a holiday home. And in the cafe that we were sitting in, the waiter then said, hey, you know, my uncle has this wonderful piece of land. So this is the land. When I saw it, I fell in love with it. There was volcanoes, authentic rice fields, and the strength of the Indian Ocean, as well as the black diamond sand beach. There was something enormously spiritual and positive energy about this place. So we decided to get the land. And from the land, uh, we needed amenities. And somehow, the idea grew into a hotel. So what grounds a project of its place? In the beginning, I was looking for an inspiration to start off the project. Then I chanced upon Trihita Karana, which is the Bali uh, principles of harmony with God, people, and nature. So with that in mind, I sought to look for clues and cues. I observed the rhythm of life in Bali, how there was always religious worships, and the agrarian culture, tradition of the old, of rice farming. And, and then uh, the land itself. So the first thing I did really was to sit with the village head and say, hey, um, we're going to do this together. He said, you, you, you have to, to speak to the Pamanku or, or the, the local priest. So I made an appointment with the priest and we walked the land. And to my surprise, he said, you need to build 10 temples in addition to the big one on the uh, peninsula. So I was like, 10 temples. And then he said, you need to allow people to walk through on ceremonies to your hotel. So what initially was a shock to me of opening up the space, uh, in the end became a generator of the design. The other thing really was I wanted to have uh, a rice fields that's working. And then I got consultation with the Subar Irrigation Head. So in the end, you see all these diagrams, meaning that we have all these constraints on the site of allowing the village to integrate with, with the hotel. And hence the site plan. But I have to say, um, site planning, when dictated by constraints of site and culture, usually, you know, comes up to something good. The other thing I, I, I understood was people. There was a, a pureness and simplicity about the people. They work in the, in the land and they worship. There's wellness in the community. This is Bali of the old. Um, you know, I, I cherish seeing the simplicity of the kids playing on the beach, the elderly. So we made a decision to hire 90% of our staff from the village. Most of them have had some kind of training uh, had, and in the industry already. To further intertwine the hotel with community, uh, we brought in the dance school and established it within hotels. So the village children get to practice the dance, and then perform for the guests. And there's also an English school for language. All these initiatives are meant to create a sense of authentic. And by interacting with them, they get to learn about climate and preserving the environment. The environment plays a big role in Suri Bali. The first thing that I did was look at the plants and look at the materials. I found this beautiful quarry about two kilometers from the site beautiful volcanic stone, and immediately used it as the staple of the hotel. A few kilometers away was a terracotta making village, and I commissioned them to make artifacts as well as wall coverings and tiles. Um, wherever we can, we use local produce, and what we can't find, we had a spice garden. The environment is important to us, and we are lucky to have these leatherback turtles come in seasonally. So that's a program for us to conserve the eggs and make sure they're large enough to survive and then release together a religious ceremony when the time is right. So how does that influence wellness in design? I truly believe that when you bring in the community and respect the culture and use material from the land and tap onto an energy of the place, the site planning falls in place. There's harmony in design. Well, the layout is based on the, the village and the palace. So all the villas are designed to have walls and pavilions. 
When you first arrived, you come into a tranquil water court, you circum ambulate around the perimeter, you, you make a left, go up some steps, and then you, you are in connection with the ocean for the first time. You hear the waves and you smell the salt in the air. Everything is naturally ventilated in the public areas. Uh, it's designed as if you're coming back to somebody's home, very low key. And where possible, materials and plants and artifacts are from the place. When you ascend a set of stairs, you finally descend on the biggest square, which is by the ocean. This is where the communal spaces are located. You have the pool, the library, the restaurant, and the bar. This is a picture of the bar at sunset. It, it fits in quite effortlessly, effortlessly with the environment. Now, wellness is important to us, and the central heart of wellness is our spa. In this spa, it's designed to have a, an opening in the middle of the heart of the spa, so rain comes in and air comes in. Uh, it is crafted of the local parasclating stone, and the concept for this spa really is about resurrection. Um, you're tired, so you're resurrected from the dead, from the darkness, gradually to the light. In the rooms of the spa, we made an effort to customize each room differently with designs from the artisans from the village. On culinary front, our chef goes to the market every morning to get daily produce. Um, and the design of the restaurants primarily used all the local materials. What you see at the end of the wall is actually mangrove roots that we salvage and made into artwork. This is the Ombak Bar. The villas remain the heart of the hotel. This is where the guest experiences uh, the culture and the relaxation. We have a 10-bedroom villa, a 6-bedroom villa, a 4-bedroom, 2 and 1-bedroom. The lines are contemporary, but the principles are based on tropical architecture and Bali architecture. All the screens and the glass doors slides open into the environment. We designed the sofa and the product and the lamp. And holistically, I think all these elements would come together and engage the environment. What you see here is a cauldron. The cauldron is used for batik dyeing, um, and it's used as a planter in this case. All the villas engage the view of landscape and ocean. From the room, you're able to open up the sliding doors and bring in the environment. The individual villas each have private plunge pools, and you can even swim from the side into the bathrooms. So this is a chance for SCD and myself to do everything from landscape, interior, graphics, to product design. Bathrooms remain the heart of the project. We have several configurations of outdoor bath, sunken bathtubs that connect you with the views of the ocean, and also floating vanities centered in the bathroom itself. On the other side, there are villas that engage the mountain and the rice fields, and these villas bring in landscape. It's as if the paddy fields come right up to your villa. So to complete this design holistically, we undertook to design the product itself. What you see on the cutlery is actually inspired by terracotta and black sand, and the even bottle own water, so there's no plastics at all in the resort. The amenities are biodegradable, bamboo and paper mache. Uh, and even the collaterals are inspired by the stone patterns, the rice fields and the ocean. Other products that we designed, candles, lights and specialized chairs for the hotel. And what does the future hold for wellness and hotel design? At SCDA, we, we realize that we need to advance to the next level so we are in partnership now with Palais for the Oceans, which is a global organization dedicated to ocean conservation. We are the global design partner of Palais, and we are designing the first research center in Maldives. So Suri Bali will also serve as a launch pad for the ocean research in Indonesia. When all these elements come together, you see this harmony of the architecture integrating with nature and landscape. 
So Suri Bali will embrace the spirit of the, our times and serve a bigger agenda for a new hotel concept that promotes wellness and harmony with our environment. This is the goal of uh, Suri Bali at this moment. I'm happy to share this story with you. Thank you very much.